Hi guys, Mel the Train Tutor here again with another quick tip for you. And this quick tip is about these tall grass. Now this isn't static grass, this is tall grass. And I've mentioned it in other videos. And you can buy it for a couple of quid in like packs like this. Where this is from Woodland Scenics. And the idea is that you get it in clumps, you cut it down and you glue it to your, your scenery to make realistic tall grass. Now it can, but can be quite fiddly. So what I want to do is show you a little tip. Okay, now at the moment it comes literally in packets like this and you have to pull them out, trim them, glue them, stick them down to your bases. But what I want to show you is just a quick little technique. What I've got here is I've got a couple of what two lollipop sticks and some elastic bands and some PVA glue over there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this clump. And this is a bit messy because I'd normally spend more time sort of tweaking this, etc. Yeah, but I want to show you the basic technique and all I'm doing is I'm laying them over my lollipop stick. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is, once I'm happy with roughly where they are, I'm gonna grab my other lollipop stick and pin them down and just have a quick look. Yeah, and just so you can see. That's roughly what I'm looking at right now. So you can see I've got all these hairy bits sticking up from the top, you know. I'll move it up just slightly, I think, because I want them slightly longer. Right, so, got that. What we're now going to do is elastic bands. And all I'm going to do is dead quick, and it's a bit fiddly. Yeah, is I'll wrap an elastic band around one side. Yeah, so I've got one side. Then I'll come over to the other side, just quickly push that up. And grip that there okay you just tuck it in a bit actually so yeah do the other side oh, just let me swap it over I'm far better with me left guys there you go and there you have it that's tall grass stuck between two lollipop sticks now, as you can see, it's stuck quite firmly. They're going to hold that nice and tight for me. And what I'm going to do is get a pair of scissors. Yeah, and very carefully and very slowly, I'm going to cut across the bottom. Little cuts, because if you do big cuts, you sort of push it and move it. So just do little cuts across the bottom. You can hear me rushing now, can't you? Because what will happen is that if you cut too quick, it'll start bending upwards. Yeah, so just push it down if it does. Oh, that's not good. I'll have to trim that afterwards. Right, you can see what's happened because I've stopped. But just give me a quick second just to clean that up. Right, and then just push that. Pull it from there. Yeah, pull a bit there. Yeah, and quite quickly you can see all these straggly hairs. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab these and just quickly slide them out. Yeah, because I don't need them all. I, want it, I don't want it really straggly. I want it more bushes. Okay, so like that. Okay, and obviously you're going to have more time to to sort of play with this. But if you can see, if I bring it up to the camera, I cut it across the bottom and it's got a flat edge now, except for where I messed with it there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is dead simple. I'm going to save these because these will come in handy for another project, no doubt. Yeah, bit of plastic. Okay, PVA. Cut a, a good blob down. Yeah, and then dead simple, just dip the bottoms in PVA. And give it a good dip, you know. PVA dries clear, so it's not a problem. So get it on the sides, get it underneath. Yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm going straight down and then I'm going like that and then I'm coming the other way to make sure I'm sort of getting it on the sides and all across. Yeah. And as you can see, if you look at it, yeah, I need a little bit more there, but the others are sort of covered really well. So I'll put a bit more there. And there we have the bottom covered with PVA. Okay, and what I'm going to do is just leave this to dry now. And what I'll end up with 
is a dry one that I did last night. <laughs> see, smart here. As you can see, doing it late at night is a little bit fiddly. But if I now take that off and I take the other elastic band off, yeah, then what I can do is I can lift this off. Now, as you see, it's in one piece. Okay, because the PVA is dry completely along the bottom, it's, it's soaked up perhaps a millimetre or two. And what this means is, is with a hobby knife or even with my fingers, what I can do is I can come along and I can grab a bit. And that is pre-glued and pre-based. So all I've got to do is literally just dip it in my, my glue and then stick it on my gaming board. Obviously, same caveat to apply. It's best if you let the glue go a little bit tacky before you stick it down so it holds. But, you know, it's a lot more simpler than working with individual, like, clumps and then trying to get them to glue as a clump. And because of the way it's done, I've got various thicknesses, various lengths, okay? And I can just pick whichever bit I need. And all I've got to do is literally just trim it off. And in the meantime, I can just throw that in a little plastic packet and they are ready to go. So there you have it guys, a really quick tip, yeah, on how to make easy tall grass bushes, yeah. Hope you found it useful guys, let me know in the comments if you did or if you've got any questions and if you like the video, like it, if you like the channel, subscribe. See you later guys, all the best.